If you feel like news around COVID-19 booster shots is giving you whiplash, you are not alone. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommended a third shot for people who have suppressed immune systems, but emphasized they didn't support booster shots for everyone just yet. Now, last Wednesday, the White House said it would push for booster shots for almost everyone starting as soon as late September. Like I said, a lot of questions, so let's get some answers from my friend, Dr. Jonathan Cantor, an epidemiologist with the Penn Center for Epidemiology. So people want to know how the additional shot works. Is it because they contain something different? Uh, so the booster shots that we are talking about right now in the U.S. are absolutely the same shot as you got the first couple times around. So essentially what you are doing is you're getting an extra third shot. What is happening, what's happening differently is that your body is already primed. Your body is already ready to basically go and react to the uh, vaccine. And because of that, it has such a more dramatic effect. It's a much more powerful effect. And that is what is giving the boost effect. So it's not that it's a different shot. It's not that it's a different medicine. It's the same one that you received before. Okay, next question. If I got Pfizer the first time, do I have to get Pfizer or can I mix vaccines? So right now, the plan is for you to get Pfizer the next time. If you got Pfizer the first time, you should be getting Pfizer the second time. If you got Moderna the first time, you should be getting Moderna the second or rather the third time as well. Uh, that is sort of the plan in the U.S. Those vaccines are very, very similar to each other. They really differ in really minor technical ways. But for the most part, that is the plan. That is what is intended. If there were to be an issue where there wasn't availability, et cetera, we could talk about switching back and forth. But right now, if you had Moderna the first couple times, try to get Moderna the third time. And the same thing with Pfizer. So they're suggesting eight months to get the booster. I got my second shot in June. I'm not immunocompromised, but it'll be available to me in September or October. That's only three months. Should I get it then? So that is not the plan. So I would not recommend that you get it then. And it's a, also a really important issue. One of the reasons that they're rolling it out in this way is also logistics. It's because as we saw in the beginning, there was a little bit of a crunch for vaccine supply. So essentially now Pfizer and Moderna have been put on alert. Hey, we're going to need millions and millions more doses in the U.S. So they're ramping up production to really make sure that we have that. And these states are ramping up acquisition. The federal government is ramping that up. But that's not going to happen all at once. So from a logistics standpoint, it's important that people plan to basically treat the eight month period as essentially your turn in line. The other thing is that the data that we have that they're going to be basing these decisions on are based on a more protracted time course between. So you don't want to get it too close together. It's possible. I don't know. Nobody really knows. It's possible it won't work quite as well if you get them too, too close together. So I would wait for that eight month period. That said, the government has been clear. There's nothing magical about the eight month point. But again, around eight months, that's when you should be considering that additional shot. All right. So I had COVID and I hear the antibodies from the disease are as good as having gotten the vaccine. True or false? Uh, that is false. Uh, so there has been uh, there have been a lot of laboratory studies that have looked at whether the antibodies that you get from natural immunity from just having been infected with COVID are as effective or more effective because you might think, hey, it's actually better. I mean, not better, but it's better from a future standpoint to have had COVID because your body then is really attuned to it. The truth is, though, that unfortunately, our bodies, even on a kind of a molecular basis, don't respond as dramatically to the actual infection as they do to the vaccine. So we don't have as many antibodies as we do from the actual infection. Recent data from about 10 days ago, also from the CDC in their morbidity and mortality weekly report out of Kentucky, showed this that in real life, it has an effect, meaning that people who had had a uh, second vaccine, people who had been vaccinated and then were exposed were about two and a half times less likely to get COVID than people who had previously had COVID before. So that showed that the vaccine is about two and a half times more effective than actually just having had COVID against preventing future infections. And let's talk about the big headline today. Pfizer's vaccine now fully approved. Do you think that's going to spur some people who'd been hesitant to get the va uh, vaccine? You know, that's actually a really million dollar question at this point. Uh, a lot of people have said, oh, well, I don't want to take a vaccine that's not really fully approved. It's only an EUA. Uh, and the fact that the EUA is essentially the same thing hasn't really swayed them. So you could argue that that may convince a small subset of those people. Uh, I also suspect that there are a lot of people who make an emotional decision. They don't want to do it. 
They then justify that based on what the what the data are available. So if people are just justifying their reluctance to get a vaccine based on the fact that uh, it wasn't approved, I don't know if this is going to sway them. For those who genuinely felt that FDA approval was sort of this mark, the seal of approval of quality that they were waiting for, maybe some of those folks will kind of turn around and be more encouraged to do the vaccines. But time's going to tell on that one. Dr. Jonathan Cantor, always appreciate you. Thank you.